Yo, my name is Jack. Do you want to color correct like T1 and Maxi in Flamora? Well, if you do, let's just get started and consider using code Yo Jack in the Fortnite item shop because it truly really helps a lot. Without further ado, let's just get started. To get started, double click it, go to color, and you want to click advance. After that, there are a few different things that you could do, but for now, I'm just going to show you the first way. I'll just show you a few of the color corrections that I made. So, this one. So you guys see I mainly have blue and pinks but you guys could achieve any color you want. So now I'll just explain what each um, of these tabs uh, does. The threshold does nothing really unless you change this value. Now if you change it now there's like a difference. And we're gonna play with this in a little bit. The white balance is basically like how yellow or bluish it is. The, the white color. And the tint is basically like the like overall greenish or purplish color and for the 3d look we're gonna be using that just a little bit uh, like at the end of the video uh so for the color tab the exposure is basically like how bright something is like how exposed it is and if you put it all the way down it's kind of um, not really exposed and same with the brightness it's kind of the same but for the when you have at negative 100 the whole clip is uh, kind of darkish. For the contrast, it's how like fight like how vibrant the colors are stuck from each other. Like you can tell this is green, this is blue. Like there's a line dividing them. Same with this. And if you put this at 100, you know it, it kind of blends a little bit. For the vibrancy, it's basically how vibrant the color is. Like how colorful. Like this is not really colorful. This is the saturation is again kind of the same thing as vibrancy, but makes the color like more of its own like the blue is more bluish the green is more green for the light uh the highlight is like you know the highlight the white things the shadow is the dark you can make them bright or more darkers and white is kind of like the highlights again and blacks is kind of like the shadows for the hl that's the main thing we're going to be really using to achieve our own color correction so i'll just skip that one for now and for the bayonet, you ideally don't want to use it because there's already effects in Fumora that lets you add your own bayonet. Alright, so now that you know basically what each of these tabs does, we're going to start off with the HSL. And basically it changes one color to another. So for instance, let's say you want to change that bluish color to, you know, a more of a purple or greenish. And you just drag this and slide it you know, along over here so and you could obviously use the saturation and luminance the luminance basically like makes it more colorful whitish you know what i mean so uh, to get started i'm gonna change the blue and make it more of a like you know pinkish reddish color i can't really achieve a specific color on filmora but it still does a good job so i'm gonna change this a little bit you know have it like right over here and then we're gonna go to this like purplish color and it's gonna change like the build so as you guys can see it has like a mix of blue and white and if we change this it, you know it changes as well so we're gonna have it you know red uh to match a little bit the storm we're gonna mess around with the saturation until we like it just like that and then maybe for the green we could change it to like no it doesn't really it just it doesn't really look nice in my opinion so we're gonna desaturate it a little bit with the luminance and basically that's like 50% of the work done <laughs> now let's just make the black more dark the white more uh, white really and we could like play with the shadows and the highlights just to make it like more intense and suspensive a little bit we could maybe just increase this a tiny bit just a tiny and I suggest that you don't make the colors like too blackish because that's gonna like take away from the audience's eyes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of brightness, just a tiny bit exposure. Now this is an optional step, um, but if you want you could change this. This adds like you know more of a like plasticky uh, texture to it. And then for the value we could if you want to add it, I personally don't like it. But for now since it's a tutorial, I'll keep it just you know. And then you could um, click save as a preset so you don't have to work um, hard each time. Just name it like tutorial. 
it's easy okay now i'll just show you um how to like make it fade a little bit so what you want to do is uh, copy this um clip i'm gonna go to layer two paste it for the bottom layer i'm gonna go to colors advanced and you want to reset everything but sometimes it doesn't work i'm not really sure why so you're going to have to do it manually just like that now, as you guys see it still shows over here so we could double click this one go to animation customize add go back like few frames right over here and just make it to zero opacity what this is going to do is slowly um add that like effect that we did and you could skip a few frames add another one and just make the opacity again to zero as you guys could tell the the ground looks so much dark it doesn't even look nice and you guys could basically still customize it but for now we're just gonna move on with the second clip all right so now for the second clip uh, i'm going to be using the 3d look this is the second method that i was talking about earlier and you won't have the same ones because some of these are from the internet and they are for free you could type on youtube free looks after this video so i decided i'm going to use this vibrant blue color and i'm going to change the red a little bit uh make the gun um fit the scene a little bit to make it like purple is blue but if you do change the blue it's gonna make it like more of this like teal color and then we could go to the light and increase the shadows with that bam and then the blacks you could just turn them down a little bit for color i'm gonna remove the exposure brighten up the scene a little bit add some tiny bit contrast make it a tiny bit vibrant and for the saturation i'm just gonna have it like over here for example for the white balance this is up to you, it's going to change the overall scene. For the value, this is up to you. I personally don't really like changing it, so I'm going to keep it all the way at zero for both. And then, you just want to check that you have all the correct settings. And if you like them, you could just click save as preset. And tutorial CC blue. You want to click OK. And you're going to copy this, paste it again. You want to remove the bottom one, the color. Right over here, I just add a keyframe, go back, and make it all the way to zero. So that's it for the tutorial. If you guys did learn something new, be sure to comment down below and like this video as it helps a lot. Consider using code YOJACK, and anyways, have a wonderful day.